reveal uh, of the game yeah, here at been, E3. You've been, been working really on it for a long time. Game. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to take a look at the uh, the gameplay demo that was shown off at the Microsoft conference, which looks incredible. But first of all, g give us a rundown here. Matt, this is uh, the third Metro yeah, so game. Yeah, it's the third. Okay. It's the third game in the series. Yeah. Uh, there was Metro 2033, Metro Last Light, um, and then we had we had done uh, a, a sort of um, like HD upgrade, right. uh, the, uh, the, the Redux yeah. for for both of them. Yeah. Uh, so this is the, the the third installment in the series. Um, they're all based on uh, the novels by Dmitry Glukovsky. Right. Uh, and this one. Uh, it takes the player. Uh, uh, you 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 take the the role of uh, Artyom again. Artyom's back. Uh, okay. So the the good ending from uh, Metro Last Light is the mm -hmm. canon ending, where the one where he survives. Um, and uh, so now he needs to to get on a train with uh, a small group of survivors and actually leave uh, Moscow, where which is which is where the other two games have taken right. place pretty much exclusively. Hence the title Exodus. Exodus, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you you get on a on a train and go on this uh, epic cross continental journey uh, to you know find something find something new, find something better. So I played Last Light, uh, but it's been a while. What, was that 2010 or 11 when that uh, game was out? Yeah, yeah, that yeah. sounds about right. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's been a while. This 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 game uh, has been in development for three years already, right. um, and uh, you know we, we still have a little bit of time left, but. Um, it's it's been the most ambitious project uh, for for us at Foray Games. Yeah, ever, well, I mean, so. it's certainly uh, certainly looking very nice. <laughs> <I would laughs> <Thank say>. <laughs> uh, so the premise here: this is a post uh, nuclear meltdown yes. world, right? Yeah, post apocalyptic. So basically, in uh, in 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 the the fiction, um, in 2013, World War Three happens. Everything blows up. Uh, the only people in uh, Moscow that survived were able to actually flee down into the uh, metro system, which in real life is actually built as a nuclear fallout shelter for the city. Yeah. Um, and you play as Artyom, uh, this guy who, who was born before everything blew up, um, but uh, was raised in pretty much entirely underground. Um, and so uh, now it's, it's exciting to, to finally be able to, to, to take him outside of the only place that he's known his entire life. I mean, look at this. Is this like is this what Xbox One X? Is yes, like, this, like is, this, is, this like is this is this is what the game looks like. This is I mean, this like is you know representative gameplay. This is this whole trailer was captured from a gameplay sequence uh, at the end of a level, um, you know, towards uh, later later on in the game. Um, and the only thing that we've done to this uh, for the purposes of a trailer is shorten the sequence, remove yeah. HUD, take out you know quick time prompts, things like sure. that. But this is this is what the game looks like. I mean, I play a lot of games and I. I often think, well, games look great now. I don't know that I really need, uh, you know, to get into 4K gaming. But when I see this, if yeah. this is the promise, then I, okay, I start to understand. Yeah, yeah, and and, and uh, for the Xbox One X, we are we are targeting 4K HDR, yeah. so it's it's going to look amazing. Great. Uh, so these are first-person shooters with a big survival element. Is that, is yeah, that, is that accurate? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so we would uh, call it. Uh, I guess you know we've been uh, uh, calling it survival horror in the past. This one. Um, uh, in particular, we're introducing these new non-linear levels. Uh, in the past, the Metro games have always been uh, pretty linear, yeah. uh, story-driven. Uh, this one's still story-driven, and we do still have the classic linear uh, Metro uh, levels. But we also have introduced new levels like this one that are non-linear, uh, a lot larger, um, and uh, it's kind of more, we're, we're calling it like the sandbox survival. Interesting. So, uh, so are you building in you know, more things for, for people to do? Is there any... Uh, Sort of crafting or loot systems. Uh, like the that? the uh, w uh, weapon systems in the past, we've we've had uh, very uh, kind of basic uh, capabilities to uh, to upgrade the weapons in the past. But in this game, we've overhauled that whole system. As you can see in the beginning of the trailer, uh, Artyom swaps out the the magazine type from a from a like a three round uh, revolver like a cylinder yeah. to uh, to a, a high capacity magazine. And uh, that's just a little taste of uh, of what we've what we've done. Uh, to the weapon systems. Uh, in addition, uh, just you know, uh, the amount of content that we've put into these nonlinear levels, we want the player to explore and really uh, you know enjoy and, and immerse themselves in in the world. And what's the story with the the creatures or the monsters that we fight? Are these former uh, animals that we would recognize that have been mutated? Potentially, yes. Yeah. I mean, like at the end there, there's the bear, um, and you saw the uh, the, the, the the wolves as, yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, underground, there was a, a mutated uh, creature we call uh, the Watchman, which, um, you know, it has, has 
elements of certain animals you can see, uh, but uh, we're, you know, maybe we're not so sure what it, what it came from, but all of them are, are uh, mutated from something that existed before. I see. That little slice of game uh, that you're showing is very cool. Is that from early on in the game, or, or can you tell us? Uh, uh, no, it's actually it's from a sequence uh, in at the end of a level that's later on in the game. Uh, one of the the the, the whole st uh, story of the game takes place over over a year, mm -hmm. and uh, you'll you'll see all four seasons. Uh, it's another uh, new thing that we're doing in uh, in Exodus, where in the past it's always been winter. It's always been cold. Yeah. Um, and so uh, because, because there's just like a permanent nuclear winter in, in, in Moscow. Um, but now we'll get to see different environments over different seasons. This, this one in particular is uh, in autumn. I see. Uh, so our overall goal is to escape, leave, leave Moscow. Yeah. That's right. Is there a main antagonist, a uh, bad guy? So, to speak, uh, so we're not getting too much into uh, okay. the, the, the details of the story. We're kind of okay. just setting the, 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 the premise now for everybody Tone to understand, and, and then we'll get into that, those details later. Well, the game is looking very impressive. <laughs> uh, Thank you. It must be exciting for you, you know, working on it for so long yeah. to actually get it out there. So like, uh, you appear on, on, you're on, there at the Microsoft press conference, you show it off and do you breathe a sigh of relief? Or then are you nervous about what people think? It's, it's been, uh, I mean, the, the, the response we've seen online, we've, our, when, when we're not uh, uh, you know, talking to people about it, we're all glued to our phones checking, yeah. you know, <laughs> checking the internet for the responses. And uh, it's, been, it's been really overwhelming. Uh, we're, we're really grateful for the, the fan reaction. Um, it's been it's it's been overwhelmingly positive, and, and it's from the moment we saw uh, saw it up there on, on the screen at the Microsoft yeah. conference, our our hearts have been pumping, and, and we've been smiling. It's 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 so awesome to be able to finally talk about it. Can you talk about uh, some of the uh, the cool technical stuff you're able to do now that you weren't before? I really liked the, the sequence there where you just lit. Uh, Lit the lighter and was able to burn away the. Yeah, fumes. well, I mean that that so that sequence visually has been overhauled for uh, for Metro Exodus, but you were able to do that uh, in the in in previous games. Um, but uh, there's uh, all the 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 mechanics and features uh, for gameplay that have been in previous Metro games. We we didn't want to uh, remove any of them when we were thinking about how to uh, introduce the new non-linear uh, gameplay style, mm -hmm. and um, so. All, all the features uh, that, that were in the game before are, are still there, and then we've added more. I mean, even uh, like the gas mask you see here, um, he's taking it off because he's able to actually breathe outside in this environment. Yeah. Uh, but the gas mask features are all still there. We've, yeah. we've uh, um, added some more uh, elements to the, the, the gas mask gameplay, um, but it's, it's still there the way, that it's, the way that it's been with filter management. You have to change your filters out. Yeah, um, can you actually, the, the I don't think we've actually touched on that. That's a major feature yeah, of these yeah. games, right? Because yeah. when you're uh, underground, the air is toxic. Yeah, 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 and 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 some places uh, above grounds uh, will not be like like this particular area, but then there are some places where where it will be. Um, you you have to find filters, uh, change them out. Your watch has a timer uh, that relates to the filters, and it tells you uh, how much time you have left. Um, and if you don't find enough filters, if you don't manage them properly, you could run out of filters and suffocate. Is the crossbow a new toy? Uh, so the crossbow is actually we we did have a crossbow style weapon in uh, previous games, but, but it's been redesigned. Uh, one of the things that uh, Prof, our uh, creative director, has uh, worked really hard on uh, for this game with our, our weapons team is uh, redesigning the weapons to make sure that they are uh, as mechanically sound as they possibly could be. Um, almost all the weapons are, are kind of cobbled together, like made, like handmade weapons, uh, made from parts and, and different you know things that they find in the world. Because you know no one's there, there are no weapon manufacturers, yeah. you know, still <laughs> Left. still still making stuff. Yeah. Uh, so people kind of have to make their own uh, their own weapons and equipment. Um, and uh, in in the past, we've we've had weapons that looked like they could function, uh, but this time we we took a lot of extra time and care to to, to make sure that. Um, uh, you know, while maybe we're not actually uh, building them to test yeah. them out, they, they, <laughs> they in, in theory, you know, mechanically are sound and, and should see. work. I seem to remember uh, ammo being somewhat scarce, which would make sense, yep. just being a post-apocalyptic world. Uh, is that sort of like a feeling of tenseness that you're trying to create for the player? Yeah, yeah. There's there's a number of things uh, that we're, we're constantly trying to do to, to, to keep the player on edge and make them feel like, you know, the the... the the immersion level in uh, Metro games has always been in incredible, um, yeah. and uh, you know the the atmosphere is so thick, uh, like you really feel like you're there, and and you're you're, you're constantly uh, struggling to survive and 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 having to uh, uh, to manage resources, and um, so it's it's we 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 use it for pacing and. Uh
There's no one out there, Artyom. No one to help us. No one to hear us. If there was, don't you think we'd have found them? This world is dying. We have to accept it. There's only us. Why do you keep going up there? What are you hoping to find? Each time you go out there, I wonder if you'll ever return. The Metro is all we have left. And I don't want to die here alone. Reveal uh, of the game yeah, here at been, E3. You've been, been working really on it for a long time. Game. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to take a look at the uh, the gameplay demo that was shown off at the Microsoft conference, which looks incredible. But first of all, g give us a rundown here. Matt, this is uh, the third Metro yeah, so game. Yes, it's the okay. third. It's the third game in the series. Yeah. Uh, there was Metro 2033, Metro Last Light, um, and then we had, we had done uh, a, a sort of um, like HD upgrade, right. uh, the, the, re the Redux yeah. for for both of them. Yeah. Uh, so this is the, the the third installment in the series. Um, they're all based on uh, the novels. Reveal uh, of the game yeah, here at been, E3. You've been, been working really on it for a long time. Game. Yeah. Uh, and then we're going to take a look at the uh, the gameplay demo that was shown off at the Microsoft conference, which looks incredible. But first of all, g give us a rundown here. Matt, this is uh, the third Metro yeah, so game. Yes, it's the okay. third. It's the third game in the series. Yeah. Uh, there was Metro 2033, Metro Last Light, um, and then we had we had done uh, a, a sort of um, like HD upgrade, right. uh, the, the, re the Redux yeah. for for both of them. Yeah. Uh, so this is the the, the third installment in the series. Um, they're all based on uh, the novels by Dmitry Glukovsky. Right. Uh, and this one. Uh, takes the player. Uh, uh, you 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 take the the role of uh, Artyom again. Artyom's back. Okay. Uh, so the the good ending from uh, Metro Last Light is the mm -hmm. canon ending, or the one where he survives. Um, and uh, so now he needs to to get on a train with a, a small group of survivors and actually leave uh, Moscow, where which is which is where the other two games have taken right. place pretty much exclusively. Hence the title Exodus. Exodus, yeah, yeah, yeah. And so you you get on a on a train and go on this uh, epic cross continental journey uh, to you know find something find something new, find something better. So I played Last Light, uh, but it's been a while. What, was that 2010 or 11 when that uh, game was Yeah, yeah, that yeah. sounds about right. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's been a while. This this, this game uh, has been in development for three years already, oh. um, and uh, you know we, we still have a little bit of time left, but. Um, it's it's been the most ambitious project uh, for for us at Fora Games. Yeah, ever, well, I mean, so. it's certainly uh, certainly looking very nice. <laughs> <I> <laughs> <would> <laughs> say. Uh, so the premise here: this is a post uh, nuclear meltdown yes. world, right? Yeah, post apocalyptic. So basically, in uh, in 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 the the fiction, um, in 2013, World War Three happens. Everything blows up. Uh, the only people in uh, Moscow that survived were able to actually flee down into the uh, metro system, which in real life is actually built as a nuclear fallout shelter for the city. Yeah. Um, and you play as Artyom, uh, this guy who who was born before everything blew up, um, but uh, was raised in pretty much entirely underground. Um, and so uh, now it's it's exciting to to finally be able to 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 take him outside of the only place that he's known his entire life. I mean, look at this. Is this like is this what Xbox One X? Is yes, like, this like is this is, table? Like this is this is this is what the game looks like. This is I mean, this like, is you know representative gameplay. This is this whole trailer was captured from a gameplay sequence uh, at the end of a level, um, you know, towards uh, later later on in the game. Um, and the only thing that we've done to this uh, for the purposes of a trailer is shorten the sequence, remove yeah. HUD, take out you know quick time prompts, things like sure. that. But this is this is what the game looks like. I mean, I play a lot of games and I. 
I often think, well, games look great now. I don't know that I really need uh, you know, to get into 4K gaming. But when I see this, if yeah. this is the promise, then I, okay, I start to understand. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and uh, for the Xbox One X, we are, we are targeting 4K HDR. Yeah. So it's, it's going to look amazing. Great. Uh, so these are first-person shooters with a big survival element. Is that, yeah. that, is that accurate? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so we would uh, call it, uh, I guess, you know, we've been uh, uh, calling it survival horror in the past. This one, um, uh, in particular, we're introducing these new non-linear levels. Uh, in the past, the Metro games have always been uh, pretty linear, yeah. uh, story-driven. Uh, this one's still story-driven, and we do still have the classic linear uh, Metro uh, levels. But we also have introduced new levels like this one that are non-linear, uh, a lot larger, um, and uh, it's kind of more. We're we're calling it like the sandbox survival. Interesting. So, uh, so are you building in you know more things for for people to do? Is there any uh, sort of crafting or loot systems? Uh, like the that? the uh, uh, weapon systems in the past, we've we've had uh, very uh, kind of basic. Uh, capabilities to, uh, to upgrade the weapons in the past, but in this game, we've overhauled that whole system. As you can see in the beginning of the trailer, uh, Artyom swaps out the, the magazine type from a, from a, like a three-round uh, revolver, like a cylinder, yeah. to, uh, to a, a high-capacity magazine. And uh, that's just a little taste of, of, of what, we've, what we've done uh, to the weapon systems. Uh, in addition, uh, just you know, uh, the amount of content that we've put into these nonlinear levels, we want the player to explore and really uh, you know, enjoy and, and immerse themselves in, in the world.